Hey guys, uh, this is a tutorial for my new Tile Master script. Uh, we'll import it real quick. And we'll open it up. It's in Windows, CM Tools, and then Tile Master. Uh, since I don't have any tile sets yet, you can't actually click on anything or paint or anything, so uh, we'll go to Google Images and download something. So I'll just type in tile set. That one looks good. And this is in the right folder already. So we'll come back into Unity, and you still don't see it yet. So we'll go back into the resources and tile sets, and we will set this as a sprite. And we'll set it uh, to multiple, and change this to 32 pixels, because I think that's what that was at. And Here's a sprite editor, and we'll just slice it up automatically using a grid of 32 by 32. Hit apply. And close out of it, and have to reload Tile Master. Or you could have hit the reload button, that should have worked too, I just forgot about it. So now we have all those tiles chopped up in a pretty little uh, tile set for us. So this is the same size as it was before. Um, so what you can do is you can just simply paint by selecting on any tile you want. I'll pick this grass. And you can just drag and paint it everywhere. Um, I made box painting, which is the same thing, but you select an area and it paints all of it at one go. Uh, if you drag out of the scene, it doesn't work. Uh, so you can zoom out and paint large areas with it. Uh, you can also hold control and select multiple tiles and I'll select a few other ones just randomly to show it. Uh, it will paint randomly out of the tiles you currently have selected. So that's really useful. You just single click to select only one and then control click to select multiple. So you can have multiple grasses, dirt, rock, whatever. Um, <clears throat> beyond that you can add layers. So this layer that we currently are on is the grass. Uh, you can hit the R here and that'll rename. Uh, so we'll do grass and then we'll do dirt path. So now we can just select these little path pieces here and we'll start with this one and just go across. And as you can see, compared to using just the built-in Unity tools, this can be a much faster way of doing things. I'll add another layer here, and this will be the player layer. So this is the layer that you would want your player's uh, order ID when in the scene. Like if you were to select just a single tile here, you can change the order in layer. And... <coughs> uh, if you were to set the player layer, since it's already set to 2, you can just set that order and layer to 2 on any player sprites or enemy sprites. And then you can also just add other layers, and that's an easy way to have a layer specifically for them. Um, past that, if, say, you wanted a rock, and you wanted it to be a collider, you can just check this box instead of having to add a collider manually to all the tiles. And any rocks that you then paint will have a collider on them. So if we zoom in, we can see the collider. Uh, the top edges and bottom edges are rounded. These are custom-made colliders so that uh, you don't have issues of the player sticking on them. Um, you can also turn on and off layers. So you can make things a little easier to see by turning it off. Um, you can also move a layer up and down, so like if we wanted the dirt path beneath the grass, we could just hit the minus button, and now dirt path is there, and then we hit plus again, and now it's in the right order. You can also highlight the selected layer and change the color that it is, so if we want it to be white, semi-transparent, whatever, we could do that, and then just uncheck it when you're done. Uh, 
you can also erase specific layers. So if I wanted to erase the grass underneath the dirt, it'll do it underneath the rocks. Or if I wanted to just delete the rocks to make a path, I can do that. So it's a fairly powerful tool for how simple it is. Uh, if you ever get lost, you can just click the help video and that will eventually bring up this video tutorial. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for looking at the video.